Hello, I'm Alexander Armstrong, and a very warm welcome to Pointless, the game where you're always aiming for the lowest score. Let's meet today's players. And couple number one. Uh, hello, I'm Glenn, and this is Seeley, and we're work colleagues from London. Couple number two. Hello, I'm Debbie, this is my mum Lynn, and we're from Tynemouth in Tyne and Weir. Couple number three. Hi, I'm Helen, this is my partner Rick, and we're from Stockport. And finally, couple number four. Hi, I'm Keith, this is my friend Adam, I'm from Birmingham, he's from Worcester. And these are today's contestants. Thank you very much, all of you. Welcome to Pointless. Lovely to have you with us. We'll get a chance to chat a little bit further throughout the show as it goes along. So that just leaves one more person for me to introduce. Happier behind that laptop than a child in a park chasing the pigeons. It's my Pointless friend. It's Richard. Hi, Adam. Hey, everybody. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Now, four shows out of five now. We've given away the jackpot. Last time it was Phil and Dave. Uh, they walked away with the money. So four out of five, which is not bad going. Not Debbie bad. Debbie and Lynn are only returning pair from that show. Got through to the head-to-head, -head, so they're going to be tough to beat. Thank you very much, Nat. Phil and David, as you gathered, won the jackpot last time. So today's jackpot starts off back at £1,000. There it is. Right, if everyone's ready, let's play pointers. <laughs> Just remember the pair with the highest score at the end of each round will be eliminated. So very best of luck. Keep your scores low. Our first category today is pop music. Can you all decide in your pairs? Who's going to go first? Who's going to go second? And whoever's going first, please step up to the podium. OK, and the question concerns... Songs from self-titled albums. Richard. On each board, I'm going to show you seven songs. They all come from albums which share their name with the artist behind the album. Just need you to tell us the name of that artist, please. We'll show you the year that the album was released and the initial of the artist as well. Thank you very much indeed. So we are looking for the acts that had these songs on their self-titled albums. And here is our first board of seven. We have got I Do, I Do, I Do, I Do, I Do. 1976. A. Enter Sandman, 1991. M, Only Happy When It Rains, 1995, G, Planet Earth, 1981, DD, XO, 2013, B, Trip Switch, 2015, NBT, and Sultans of Swing, 1978, DS. I will read those again. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Enter Sandman, Only Happy When It Rains, Planet Earth, XO, Trip Switch, and Sultans of Swing. So there we are. Glenn, welcome to Pointless. Good to have you with us Thank here you. from London. Yes. Um, and what do you do, Glenn? Uh, I am a part-time, would like to be full-time actor, and I work as an usher at the Young Vic Theatre in Waterloo. Very nice indeed. Um, so what sort of acting are you doing at the moment? Uh, mainly lots of short films, lots of unpaid films. It's an extraordinary little area of its own short film, isn't it? Yes. And it's, it's uh, you know, a lot of people, I suppose, kind of... I don't know, I suppose there are fewer sort of art house films being made, I suppose, now, so short films seem to be where people are going to, to indulge their inner auteur, learn right. what they want to do, and yes. use ideas that they possibly couldn't use elsewhere. Yeah, fantastic. Now, Glenn, what would you like to go for on our board? I am torn between two, because I like the bands, but I'm going for uh, Only Happy When It Rains, Garbage. Garbage, says Glenn. Let's see if that's right. Let's see how many of our 100 people went for Garbage. Well, for Garbage. What a great start to the round. Very well done indeed, Glenn. Yeah, number six album weren't supposed to be a real band. They were sort of just a, a group of kind of uh, like Butch but Vig from uh, uh, those Nirvana's producer set it up, and they they sold so many records that they thought perhaps we should do this permanently. So they did. It was so supposed how did to be they, a bit of fun? Well, they were just sort of all in a studio, just mucking about. Yeah, essentially like those slight super groupy type things that you get. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Excellent, excellent record. Thank you very much indeed. And now then, Lynn, welcome back to Point. It's wonderful to have you here from Tyne and Weir. Uh, and remind us what you like getting up to, Lynn. I like doing all sorts of craft work. Very good. Making things for the family, making cards. And I've just started learning Japanese as well. This is what we discovered last time. So what was it that, that drew you to Japan, particularly? My ancestors originally came from Okinawa. Really? Yes, on my grandmother's side. 
How wonderful. And you've been to Japan several times since. Twice, yes. Lovely. Going again. Wonderful. Well, uh, good luck with all of that, Lynn. Um, what are you going to go for on our board here? A um, hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know any of them. Um, the only thing I can think of is M. Madonna. You're going to say M. Madonna for Enter Sandman, 1991. Well, let's see if that's right. Let's see how many of our 100 people said Madonna. Bad luck, Lynn. I'm afraid not Madonna. That may well not be the last 100 points in this round, so don't despair yet. 100 points for that, nonetheless. Sorry, Lynn. I'll give the correct answers at the end of the pass. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Rick, welcome. Hello. Very good to have you with us, Rick. And uh, what do you do? I'm a software development manager. And, uh, and what are your interests? Well, I'm quite keen on pop music, so quite pleased <laughs> about this particular round. Um, also, I enjoy films, um, playing and recording music. What do you play, Rick? I play lots of different instruments. I can play the guitar, the bass, the drums. Um, I've actually got a degree in pop music, so my You've got to agree. <laughs> so it is really kind of lucky, but yeah, it's incredible. So, hang on. So, when you're recording, you what do you put down first? If you're if you're doing if you're because it sounds like you play everything on these records. Um, I don't. I mean, I, I tend to prefer playing with groups of other musicians, and right. so um, at the moment, I like uh, playing with a dad's band of real uh, blokes in their forties. We're called the Tall Faces, and we play small faces and kicks covers and lots of mod songs from the sixties. Fantastic. Uh, now, Rick, what about this board here? What are you going to go for? Um, it's one of those where you know them quite a lot, them quite well, and so it's just kind of figure out which is going to be least popular. Um, I'm going to go for Planet Earth um, by Duran Duran. Okay, Duran Duran, says Rick. Let's see if that's right for Planet Earth. Let's see how many of our 100 people said Duran Duran. Is right. Well, 12 is our low score at this point. 25 is where you end up with Duran Duran. Not bad, happy. Yeah, that was their debut album, Duran Duran. In fact, they released two albums called Duran Duran during their career. One was Duran Duran, the wedding album. It's still called Duran Duran. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed, Richard. Now then, Keith, welcome. Hello. Great to have you here, Keith. What do you do? I'm a business analyst for a online payment portal for schools. I see. That's, uh, that's interesting. How long have you been doing this for? Uh, this specific job, about six months, um, but similar stuff for about the last five years. I see. Okay. And uh, what are your interests, Keith? Um, I also really like pop music, and going to see live bands is uh, probably what I spend most of my money on. So. Okay, very good. Now, Keith, you're the last person to have this board. Do you fancy talking us through it all? Yeah, I'm, ooh, I'm fairly confident with most of them. The first one, A, I would guess, would be ABBA. The next one, I think, is Metallica. EXO would be Beyonce. Um, Sultans of Swing, Dire Straits, but I'm going to go for Trip Switch and say Nothing But Thieves. Nothing But Thieves, says Keith. Uh, Adam looking quite pleased with that. <laughs> um, you picked the right person to come and point us with. Uh, let's see how many of our 100 people said Nothing But Thieves. It's a good answer. Well, our low score is 12. Nothing But Thieves takes us way past our Dan Paul. Very well done indeed, Keith. Fabulous, no score to finish that pass with. Great work, Keith. Lovely way to end the pass here. An indie band from Southend sold over a quarter of a million copies of that their, uh, their debut album. Um, you went through the board very nicely as well. Sultans of Swing, it was Dire Straits, would have scored 60. Um, Exo, you're absolutely right as well, was Beyonce. Much better score for that, would have scored 13. Uh, Enter Sandman was Metallica. That would have scored you 27. And I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. It was ABBA. And would have scored you 52. Uh, thank you very much. Well, we're halfway through the round. Let's take a quick look at those scores. Four was the best score of that pass. Very well done, Keith and Adam. Uh, then we travel up to 12, where we find Glenn and Sile. Then up to 25, where we find Rick and Helen. And then, would you believe it, Lynn and Debbie, our low scorers going into the head-to-head -head last time. This time, are our high scorers halfway through round one. Anything could happen in the next pass, Debbie, but we definitely need a low score from you, so good luck with that. We are going to come back down the line now. Can the second players please step up to the podium? OK, let's put seven more songs up on the board. Songs from self-titled albums, and we have got Beetlebum, 1997B, Put Yourself in My Place, 1994, KM, Rhiannon, 1975, FM, Borderline, 1984, M, Seven Seas of Rye, 1974, Q, P, 
Piggies, 1968, TB, and This Charming Man, 1984, TS. I'll read those song titles again. Beetlebum, Put Yourself in My Place, Rhiannon, Borderline, Seven Seas of Rye, Piggies, and This Charming Man. There we are. Adam, welcome to Pointless. Great to have you with us. Uh, what do you do, Adam? Uh, I'm a commercial manager for an insurance brokers. Right, you are. And how, so you and Keith, how do you do know each other? We've been best friends for just over 20 years. We met in middle school. Oh, that's nice. And how far apart do you live now? Uh, now we live about 25 miles apart. Oh, okay. But we've, obviously, we lived in the same town when we were younger, and then we moved apart, and then we ended up living together with a group of lads for a while. And, and uh, yeah, now we've gone our separate ways, but still stay. Still see each other from yeah. time to time. On, on quiz teams, is this the first time you quiz together, or have you? No, you've no, we quiz quite a lot. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. I had a hunch that might have been the case. <laughs> well, listen, Keith has set you up just fantastically there, did. Adam. If you can score 95 or less, you are straight through to round two. Okay. Lovely, pristine board there. What are you going to uh, go for? There's only a couple of them that I know, but I'm going to go with uh, this charming man, uh, the Smiths. The Smiths says, Adam, for this charming man, here is your red line. If you get below that, you are through to round two. How many people said The Smiths? It is right. 25. Nicely done, Adam. Take your total up to 29. Yeah, safe and sound. A number 25 symbol from a number two album from The Smiths. Thank you very much indeed, Richard. Now then, Helen, welcome to Pointless. Good to have you with us. What do you do, Helen? Uh, I'm currently a full-time mum to our two little boys. I've recently been re made redundant. Uh, previously, I worked in financial oh, I thought you meant by the boys. Oh, no. The boys had said, that's <laughs> right, mum, here is your arm. Oh, imagine if that happened. Oh, no, and what age are they? Uh, three and nine. Three and nine. Yeah, that is, that's pretty full-time, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. A little bit more time, I imagine, on your hands now than you've probably had in the last three years. Well, you'd have thought, wouldn't you? But no, yeah. it seems to have gone the other way around. Yeah. So um, I've become secretary of our local PTA at school. That's quite nice. So how do your kids feel about you being on sort of first-name terms with all the teachers? Oh, they love it, especially when we're... Um, I helped, we recently redecorated the hall, and I got to pick which sea creatures were in it. And my eldest's favourite is a porcupine puffer fish, and I've specifically and that requested is front one. and centre. Yep. There we are. There have to be some perks. There have to be. <laughs> uh, there you are. Now you're on 25. If you can score 74 or less, you're straight through to round two. Right. Well, there's two that I think I know, but I'm doubting myself. I'm going to go for Beetlebum and say Blur. Beetlebum Blur says, Helen, there is your red line. If you get below that, you are into round two. It's right. You are into round two. There we are. 27. Very well done. 52 is your total. Yeah, number one single from a number one album, and uh, the second track on that album was Song 2, which is two minutes long and got to number two. Just perfect. Uh, thank you very much indeed, Richard. Now then, Debbie, I'm afraid you are still the high scorers, but still, the round is not over. Um, I think perhaps it is. Remind us what, uh, what you like getting up to. Um, well, I'm currently on a career break, and I'm thoroughly enjoying my time off. Spend a lot of time keeping fit. Um, and enjoy going to watch my son play football. How often does he do that? Most of the weekend, and sometimes midweek okay. games as well. Okay. So. There you are. Now, Debbie, your high scorers, we need a low score. Mm. Really, feasibly, it has to be a score of 11 or less. Yeah, I'm struggling. Um, I think I know a couple, but they're probably the highest scorers, but I'm going to have to go with one of them. I think Borderline is Madonna. Borderline Madonna says, Debbie, uh, no red line, the other high scorers. How many people said Madonna? <laughs> that goes to 30. Not bad at all. Jason will take up to 100. That's very nice as a mother-daughter team that you shared the same answer. It's just rather lovely. Nice, nice. <laughs> uh, thank you very much indeed, Richard Sile. Welcome. Pointless. Good to have you here. And uh, what do you do, Sile? Um, mostly sleep. Well, try to. But, um, I'm a student at Goldsmiths University. And what are you studying there? English with creative writing. That's fun. What year are you in? Third. I see. So it. Uh, so what happens at the end of your third year in terms of your creative writing? Do you submit some? Uh, yeah, we opus? don't do a dissertation with my degree. I right. do a twelve thousand word 
story um, or portfolio different stories and then a critical commentary. And which time. are you going to go for? The 12,000 word? Uh, I don't know yet what I'm going to write. Um, I've had writer's block since January. Oh, we can make something. <laughs> yeah, we can make something. Uh, a horse that opens a shop. Okay. What would that be like? Oh, that would be like good. Yeah. Operating the till and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But in yeah. these days of contact list, possible. Yeah, it's <laughs> certainly, certainly. And the shop is called Stable Door. The Stable Door. Am oh, I that's nice. I'm allowed to quote you guys as a source when I fail. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been done many times. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Sile, you're through to the next round. Does not matter what you score. Brilliant. Knowing that, do you want to talk us through the board? The only answer I can guess at is put yourself in my place, Kylie Minogue. Kylie Could Minogue a... says Sile. Oh, nodding. Is it right? Getting a nod from okay. them. Well, there, there we are. Anyway, you've gone for Kylie Minogue. No red line, you're already through. How many of our 100 people said Kylie Minogue? It's right. Is your yeah, and her debut album from 1988 was called Kylie. So she did one album called Kylie, one album called Kylie Minogue. Wow. She hasn't yet done Minogue, has she? No, she hasn't. I don't know what her middle name is either, otherwise I'm sure she'd have used it. Um, now, I'm sure you can get all three of these. FM? Um, no, Fleetwood, Mac. Seven, Mac. Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> of course. And what scored you 24? Q? Queen. Queen, yeah. Uh, that is a big scorer. Surprisingly, we've scored 57. And you know this next one? Yes, the Beatles. It is the Beatles, yeah. but it's a very small score, I think, because of the date. It it's, you wouldn't have thought we would take them that long to release an album called The Beatles. And Piggy's not one of their most famous songs. 13 yeah. points for that. So The Beatles and Kylie Minogue, as ever, neck and neck. There we are. Thank you very much indeed, Richard. So at the end of our first round, the pair we're sending home with our high score of 130. I'm so sorry, Debbie and Lynn. It is you. It's been such a pleasure having you on the show. I'm far too soon to be sending you away, but uh, thank you for coming to play. Uh, Debbie and Lynn, everyone. Lovely. Clap for the remaining three players. It is now time for round two. Very well done, everyone. We made it through to round two. You may have noticed that we have lost a pair along the way. We're down to three pairs. We'll be losing another pair at the end of this round. Keith, hats off to you. Nothing but thieves, our lowest score of that round. Very impressive indeed. But well done, all of you. Our category for round two today is famous people. Can you decide in your pairs who's going to go first, who's going to go second? And whoever's going first, please step up to the podium. Okay, and the question concerns famous bespectacled figures, Richard. I'll show you 16 pictures now of famous people all wearing glasses. Can you tell us who they are, please? Thank you very much indeed. So as Richard's mentioned, we're going to put an image up with 16 people on it. That image will stay for the whole round. We won't be changing it halfway through. You just have to throw out the name when it's your turn of anyone you recognise from that picture. Hopefully a nice, obscure, low-scoring person. Best of luck. Let's have a look at that image. Here are the 16. There we go. Sile, I'll just give you a moment to digest that. Who would you like to go for? I think I know about three. Well, I want to play it safe, I'm so sorry. Anne Robinson. Anne Robinson says Sile. Let's see if that's right. Let's see how many of our 100 people said Anne Robinson. Is right. Thirty-six. Thirty-six for Anne Roberts. Yeah, not a bad score. She used to present the weakest link, which used to be on um, five fifteen on one BBC Facebook, One. BBC One. It's a good slot. It's a funny slot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Helen. Hi. Now then, who would you like to go for on our board of? Again, board I think classes? I know about. Three. I'm going to go for Jermaine Greer. You're going to go for Jermaine Greer. Let's see how many of our 100 people agree with Helen. How many said Jermaine Greer? It's right. 36 has already scored this point. Lie down. 23. Very well done indeed, Helen. Yeah, she was, a, she was an actor back in the day and a lecturer at the University of Warwick as well before the female eunuch came out. Thank you very much, Richard. Uh, now then, Keith. 
So, so many familiar faces, but maybe only two names come into mind. Um, I will go for Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly. So it's Keith. Let's see how many of our 100 people have said Buddy Holly. It's right. 36 is our high score. 23 are low. You passed the high score just. 35 there, Keith. Yeah, Charles Holly. He was surprised for looking most like me as well on the board, I think. <laughs> I think probably, yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Richard. We're halfway through the round. Let's take a quick look at those scores. Uh, 23, the best score of the bus. Very well done indeed. Helen, 35 is where we find Keith and Adam. 36 is where we find Celia and Glenn. So, Glenn, we're going to need a low scorer from you to keep you in the game. Good luck with that. We're going to come back down the line now. Can the second players please step up to the podium? <laughs> Okay, now, Adam. Yes. There you are on 35, just below our high scorers. Ideally, you'd be looking at a pointless answer here. It's not, definitely not going to be a pointless answer. It's not a strong board for me, but um, I'm going to go with Martina Navratilova. Martina Navratilova says, Adam, let's see how many of our 100 people said it. There is a sort of nominal red line there at the bottom of the column, if you can imagine. But uh, let's see if you can get near that. Uh, Martina Navratilova. Yes, Jenny started wearing them when she felt her play was declining a little bit, so wore glasses and got absolutely back up to the, the top of her form again. Extraordinary. Uh, thank you, Richard. Now, Rick. Rick, you're on 23. 38 or less keeps you in the game. I've got a couple that I think if we were in a weak position, I'd probably take a gamble on, but um, given Helen's excellent effort, I'll go for Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin says, Rick, here is your red line. Let's see if you can get below that with Sarah Palin. Good enough. And a bit more. There we are, 15. Very well done indeed. Our lowest scored around so far. In fact, taking your total up to 38. Yep, vice presidential running mate to John McCain, the 2008 first woman ever to be on the Republican ticket. Thank you very much, Richard. Now then, Glenn. Glenn, I said we would have a game to play here, and here it is. You have to score 25 or less to stay with us. If you wanted to, Glenn, you could talk us through the board. Uh, I've got some. Uh, got one. Uh, I think that's a US president. I can't remember who. Alistair Day? Someone like that. I remember bow ties. Uh, Teeny Temper, I think. I know I know that's not his name. It's a guess. Um, that's Arthur Miller. I'm not too sure about the lady in the wonderful glasses. I believe that's Bertil Brecht, which I think could be a low one. Sue Pollard, not sure who that is. Sue Perkins and Groucho Marx. Because I need a low one, I'm going to go for Bertil Brecht. Bertil Brecht says, Glenn, there is your red line. Let's see if that is right, and if it is, let's see how many people said Bertolt Brecht. It is Bertolt Brecht. And you go through, and it's a pointless answer. What about that? Very, very well done indeed. That adds 250 pounds to today's jackpot. Take the total up to 1,250 pounds. It scores you nothing and leaves your total at 36. You have gone from being the highest scorers of the round to being the lowest scorers of the round. Beautiful stuff, Glenn. Well done. For somebody who works at the Young Vic, there's a couple of nice scorers up there because you got Brecht. You also got Arthur Miller, which is right, which would have scored you four points. And another playwright down in the bottom row there. That's uh, Jean-Paul Sartre. He would have scored you one point. Uh, let's take a look at the scores for the others. Got one, top left, would have scored you 50. And it's Harry S. Truman, would have scored you one point. Robin Day, up there in the top right. Ten points for Robin Day, that is Tiny Temper. He would have scored you ten points. Uh, this the interior designer, Iris Apfel, is uh, the one on the third row. She would have scored you two points, well done to 100. Um, Sue Pollard, there at the bottom left, 24 points. The wonderful Sue Perkins would have scored you 42. And Groucho Marx, bottom right would have scored 34.
Thank you very much indeed, Richard. So at the end of our second round, the pair we are sending home with our high score of 62. I'm so sorry, Keith, you gave us our lowest score in the first round, and I'm afraid here we are saying goodbye to you. But we'll see you again next time. I have every confidence you'll do just as well, if not better next time. But in the meantime, thanks very much for playing Adam and Keith.